names are in strange Interlight games The good, the bad, the ones that are plain strange He used to go out and raise the dead Now I just play Nintendo instead I'm going back, back again to buying them all even if it takes me sell my soul <laughs> Hey cunts, how you doing? You saw the intro. Yeah, I know. It's it's another sports game, all right? Also, fun fact, uh, I think we're up to episode 38 now, which is also my age in real life. Not that you fucking asked, or that you even care. But, uh, yeah, 38 years old, sitting in a fucking crack house basement, recording a video about a fucking 30-year-old video game that nobody cares about anymore. Uh, I probably made that joke like halfway through this episode, but I don't know, because the script's not in front of me. Yeah. Yay! Volleyball for the NES. Came out in the 80s or something. Just fucking Google it. So you start by choosing your sex, to which the answer is always, yes please. You make the decision to be dudes or broads. Just like you can in 2019. No, that's not supposed to be some trans joke or some shit. This world's garbage, but just be whatever the fuck you want. Identify as anything that makes you a better person, you beautiful pieces of shit. I love ya. It looks like the women sprites are twerking and shaking their tits. This is my kind of game. Funny, I'm pretending to be playing this shit and do commentary, but for all you know, I could have my cock in my hand going to town making floor babies. The male characters know what I'm talking about. Look, their sprites are clearly jerking off. That is jerk off animation. Of all people, I would know. Good for you guys, just don't let the gym teacher walk in on you. Look at what the hell, these motherfuckers get knee pads and protective gear. I didn't get to wear any of that shit in high school gym class. Yeah, fun fact number two, I'm an undead unicorn pussy metro motherfucker, but I actually loved volleyball in gym class. In fact, I enjoyed gym class in general. There's probably some fucked up deep meaning in there, or it's just because I have severe ADD and just like running around like a retarded asshole. Damn, these guys are fucking the shit out of the volleyball over there. I'm getting turned on, is it hot in here or is it just me? Ugh, the music sucks. It's the same song and it gets old as fuck. So just blast some Mayhem or Cardi B and you're all set. I don't know what the fuck all that beeping is, but it's annoying as ass. And you're probably saying, oh, Aaron, the 8-bit video game that nobody cares about makes annoying noises, but Cardi B doesn't? You know how she goes like, and all that shit? Nope. Cause I like Cardi B and she got a fat ass. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Random as fuck, but doesn't the audience look like a bunch of pedophile rabbits? Someone just scored a point and now they're non-stop jumping like a Tennessee crack whore. Okay, stop, relax. There's a bunch of different teams from countries you can pick, just like in ice hockey. But there's way more than ice hockey. <coughs> <coughs> Episode 36 reference. <coughs> they used like every color in the fucking rainbow for the outfits. They ran out at some point, so some of the teams just blend together. It's hard to remember what side you're on. T-U-N or Tunisia, I guess? The broads look like Thelma from Scooby-Doo. Hello. In bra, Zil is for bra. Like, as in, what's up, bruh? The chicks look like a fucking Kardashian. Damn, look at that ass. Oh shit, she just got spiked in the face. That happened to me once in high school, it hurt like hell. 
And by high school, I mean two weeks ago when I ran into Dunkin' Donuts in my underwear, wearing a cape pretending to be Spawn, and I tripped over the cape, fell into some guy, and my hands landed all over his munchkins. Oh, and if you make the teams Japan versus Korea, the women colors give you Melina and Katana. What a great episode this is, huh? We learn nothing about sports or video games. But hey, that's why you beautiful pieces of shit keep tuning into this crap whenever I feel like churning one out. Beautiful pieces of shit? Ugh, that's like the second time I've used that phrase in this episode. God, fucking proofread this shit, Aaron. Oh shit, the microphone's still on. But yeah, I don't know what keeps you guys tuning in. I mean, I never listen to your input, which is why the next episode is gonna be another Halo one. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. I have no idea what it's gonna be. Or when it's gonna come out. Or if it's ever gonna come out. Or if I'm ever gonna come out, right? Toodaloo! I see the autumn leaves brush across her face In secret we could hide to fill this empty space In my heart I feel so hollow and so thin And here I'll stay for you until the very end See you there.